Now then. Well, it's Sunday. Smash the macros. And um, I'm on shift three. Well, <laughs> shift one, I had forgot my camera. I had my little new gadget camera with this to test with this. And so I had a little go of run with that. I don't know what it's like yet. It'll, if it's any good, I'll stick it in around about now. I'm on my rinky dinky tiny tiniest camera in the world. I forgot my other one. I charged it in the living room last night and when I set off for work today I don't set foot in the front room in the mornings. I'm like up, oh, shower, kitchen, flask, out the door and oopsie. But I did buy another little gadget like and it's amazing little camera it's to go on top of my drone just for some other type of footage I'm on double deckers and that was a surprise a pleasant surprise so I'm up at Livy now I got a lovely run up I got in the yard at half ten they held back some keys for us for the Tesco side trailer was ready truck was there I was out of the yard by 20 past 11 this morning. It's fab. A straight run. Um, no problem. Didn't stop. Just wanted to get here. I've just had my break. Uh, two minutes over my break now. 45. Uh, my trailer is one of those three debtors. Oh, there's one away. So, yep. One of those other three that isn't going. Happy days. The size of this. I cannot get over the size of this camera. I might have been facing it the wrong way when I was talking to you there, like 30th of the day. 30th of September, April, June, November. So it's the 1st of December tomorrow. Oh my god. What a quick year this has been. 1622 awesome mileage on this is 382,681 kilometers the yard's full of brand new Scanias and uh, not to be used until just before Christmas then they're getting a full fleet in in the new year and they've got some higher ones there, some higher Scania, bright yellow. I used to have a camper van when I was in Australia and it got, well we, we met a wide load on a narrow bridge, put it that way, I shouldn't be sitting here and it ripped the side of the van and it was yellow and we used to call it the yellow peril. So if I get one of them I'll be calling now those trucks yellow peril when I'm in you'll know which one I mean when I say it or you might just see the glow on my face off the van's trucks and this one is just putting the bridge number down and the trailer number that I'm hoping on to don't know the checks on this one on the cab Height is set to 16.4 and it is 16.4 despite what people are saying the Tesco trailers are supposed to be 15 something they're not, trust me, they're 16.4 any issues with this? none right, I can't do anything else now until I go and check that Trailer. Right, to take you into the slalom. Oh, it's really busy, like, just had a quick up over to my right, and there's quite a few on the base.
looks like all the, I'm assuming it's all the extended, unless there's something else getting built there. Amazon there as well. minutes in total, six pallets, I'm out of here, the red light's stuck on, so you don't just pull away, I went back in, lifted up the, the door and then closed it again in case that triggered it, still nothing, so I've gone back in again, and they went, ah oh, don't worry about it, just pull off, bloody hell, even though I know, because it's me that's been in there, still here doing this. Still on right. Oh well. Weird. Get the doors. Uh, for once, well it's not for once, a few times I've not been very hopeful of getting into Tesco's early. And, and I've always managed to get in, but today on a Sunday, two hours early, I asked to by the time I get there, well, 2.15. It's 2.15 now, man, you're moving. I'll be there in five minutes. Warning to vice everywhere for later on tonight and early hours tomorrow morning up here. Well, the screen's not going to be helping that, that's for sure. I'm off Monday, Tuesday, that's my weekend this week. Got a lot 
going on now. It's not chilling. Now, sir, for madam. Yes. Bay 31, lovely, thank you. Right, I'm going to pick some trays up from, from here. Tesco's to take, take back home. Without a dry sales, and you went, like, Oh, just do the livery one instead. I'll get someone else to do dry sales. So, when you get trays, when you come off one of the Tesco bays, you just come along here. Well, I got told last time not to park it on a bay, so I won't. fence and then I'll walk through and ask what the crack is. There's new trucks as well for these guys. There it is, everyone's getting newbies. Five minutes till I got seen stood at the desk like a toolbox and then the reference number wasn't right phone them up get a new one because the reference number they give us had been collected at two o'clock this morning and funny enough in this very truck which I found weird There's a room in here to reverse. It's a bit of crap though. Who's one of my subs? Again, I forgot your name, mate. You're gonna kill us. He's just come back off his holidays, and he's got a beautiful R500 Scania, brand new. Oh my god, I am so jealous. Sure, jealous. Right, well, get back in the yard for around 8:30. 8.45ish, not bad, another 11, 11 and a half hours like yesterday I think, straight back down the road with these trays, so I got in there at 2, 2.15, it is now 5pm, <laughs> seriously, luckily I had one of the guys for from the office, well, like who works for the same company, he's really good, banter him, like, and then when I was in that other bit, the RSU, there was no one about, he was dead, so I just sat and played with my phone, what can you do, what can you do, oh, something like Alan Porridge, eh, smell my cheese, I just had this funny feeling I better call up and see if I was still heading back or not because the first code that he gave us had already been collected. So it's the lad who's new in the yard, running the desk, as I said. I just want to confirm I'm uh, heading straight down the road with this. 
this load because we had to change it because the one you gave us had already been collected. Oh no, pop it in the dry stales on a bay, bring it empty back. So good job I ran. Sometimes you've got to stick more than one, one hat on, not just your driver's hat. Most of the drivers out there know exactly what I mean by that. So anyway, I'm going into Drysdale's, drop this on a bay, I just pray the soul it down the flood. <sighs> I really do. I just polished my boots. Right, let's see. Is the water. There isn't. I've cleared it look. Fantastic. Excellent. Nice little, I'll say a simple trailer, it's quite tight against this fence so you just have to be extra careful. It's only a wooden fence, if you touch it, you can hour in one of these things. Uh, like just get on there, get in line, lift it up a little bit and clip on nicely. Thank you very much. So an empty trailer, just goes straight back to the yard, no phone calls required now this time of night. By the time I get down there, back to the office, sat in half, giving me an ETA, 2 hours 20 from here, 95.4 mile. Woo! There you go. It is so muddy everywhere around here. It's coming off the fields with it. so many loads at the moment. I tell you what that was. That was my pie falling into the drawer. Yes, I know I've got a pie. I don't know how many times this guy says dead. I remember him on during the World Cup and I had to switch him off. Yes, he has, yeah. And um, I mean, it's very interesting, uh, obviously, that um, as a time ago in South Coast, it's very interesting hearing him talking about um, uh, <laughs> questions of uh, hosting the, 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 the tournament, um, and I guess, assuming he's going to qualify, um, and of course they will. But um, uh, it, um, it's. Uh, Three! Uh, the the two or three good games at Wembley, the uh, semi finals and final will be there. There's a bit of talking quite. Um, uh, uh, openly about how you know, they to get used to the fact that uh, they will be favourites in these sort of tournaments and these sorts of matches um, and, and that's just another part of their development um, uh, but he just sees it as a, as a sort of great opportunity to, uh, uh, to be seized upon so uh, definitely, definitely very bullish Okay, Tim, thank you very much Not There you have to be done Last shift for two days so Heading back, stop for a, a latte. Nothing naughty, just a latte. Every time I go there, it's just closing the, the proper Costa shop. Literally, I, was, oh, I got here a couple of weeks ago and there was a young lassie working there. She was dead, Connie. She went, Oh, I'm close. I went, Oh, God, every time she was like, what are you after? And I went to that age, she was like, alright, I'll quickly make you one. I'm like, get it. They're just better than the machine ones, you know. So I'm anyway, I'm lumbered with the machine one. <laughs> Tons of sweetness though. Thank you very much. I'll give that to my sister, because every time I pop round for a cup of I haven't got any. There you go. 
little bit of skullduggery. Right, well, I'm going to try and piece up my three days worth of vlogging, although I had nothing yesterday, but you know what I mean. And I shall get that all on in these next couple of days. Tomorrow I'm moving my auntie. I've got most of her stuff moved out the other day. From She's moved up from York. And she's in storage. So I've got quite a bit of it away. Into a new house. New beautiful bungalow. Um, and I've got tomorrow as well to finish off. I've probably two trips in my van. Oh yes, because I've got a van now. I'm everybody's best friend. Especially the relatives. But, there you go. I don't mind if I'm not busy. Don't mind at all. I'm just giving this truck a very good clean while I'm sat here. Even though I'm like chilling, I'm not chilling. Antiseptic wipes, like a huge dead good. Blitz is it? Disinfectant says there's crumbs everywhere, which have got absolutely nothing to do with me, and there's nothing I can do about it. I hope they're crumbs, not tobacco. Although they could have a tobacco pouch and it's just fell out. Right, this truck is spotless. And we're ready for the next guy. Funny thing is, right, when I was in there getting the trays today, this same truck was there at 2 o'clock this morning getting trays as well. I found that quite weird. Because these go everywhere, obviously. So it's not unusual it's up there, but the fact I'm, I'm in the RSU side collecting, it's a bit weird. Just me. It's tipping it down. Can't see much of them in those cameras. It's horrible. The roads are horrible. Everybody stays safe while we get this crappy weather. I hope. Oh, whoever gets this is going to be well made up. It's a bit Spotless. Oh yeah. Right, I'm going to sit and enjoy my coffee and watch the world go by for ten minutes.